Well, good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, depending on where you are in the country today. Um, this is Susan McGuire, and I'm very happy to welcome you to our special e-tour for participants in our ACCE Sales Mentorship Program. So uh, during this short webinar, we will provide an overview of many of the membership-related resources we have on our website, and we'll also touch upon our in-person networking and information resources as well. So we're just going to do an overview and we welcome any um, follow-up questions either during the webinar via the question function, and I'll explain that in a minute, or afterwards. Um, and with me today is Sarah Melby, Director of Information at ACCE, and she's going to be providing a lot of the information to this afternoon. Um, we're both really happy to be with you here today for our tour. Uh, before we begin, um, I have a few housekeeping items. Uh, first, uh, all attendees are in listen-only mode during the webinar to avoid background noise. Um, if you have a question, you can use the question function in the webinar panel. Um, second, uh, we'll do the questions at the end of the webinar, at the end of the presentations. Um, the question box is on the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, just type in your question, and we here at ACCE will see the questions, we'll repeat the question aloud and answer, um, answer your questions when we get to the end of the presentation. If we run out of time to answer questions, we will contact you. And again, please don't hesitate to follow up with any questions you may have or you may think of later um, with either Sarah or, or me. Um, third, the webinar is being recorded and I will send you a link to the recording uh, in the next day or so, probably by the end of the day tomorrow. Um, I'll also send you a link to our Fast Facts Guide, which is sort of a quick and dirty summary of how to get on the, web, uh, the ACC website and find key information, um, how to log in and so forth. That is also uploaded to the webinar panel. If you take a look at the um, handouts section, you click on that little triangle on handouts, and you can upload it now during the presentation. If that doesn't work for whatever reason or you just don't want to fiddle with that right now, that's no problem. I'll send you um, the hand, the fast fact guide along with the webinar recording. So really all you need to do uh, for the next uh, half hour, 45 minutes or so is to sit back and watch and listen and then, and then feel free to follow up with any questions. So to kick off our e-tour, I'm going to hand over the presentation to Sarah. So Sarah, take it away. Thanks, Susan. Welcome, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today with you. And I'll begin by giving you a roadmap of the ACCE um, website, starting with the basics such as how to log in to the site and review and update your membership information. And then I'll go on to talk a little bit more or a lot more about our ACCE resources and information and research. So we're going to just start with the home page here. Um, at the top of the home page are five categories of information on our website. So we have about, and this is where you go to get basic information about ACCE staff, our board, our history, our location, and other information. Um, and then we also have our professional development area, and Susan will be covering this in just a bit. And then we also have more information on networks, ACCE's powerful networks, and Susan will also talk to you more about that. And then I'll go over the information portal, also known as HERO, um, Help Expertise Resources Online. And um, then we'll have uh, time for question and answer. So we're gonna go back to the homepage here. And I just wanna give you an overview. It's frequently updated with news you can use. Um, we also include late, uh, the latest blog postings under ACCE Spotlight. Um, we have updates on new reports and upcoming conferences or convention, as well as our events. Um, the full event listing or the snapshot listing is here, and then you can click here for more events upcoming. And if it's an ACCE event, you'll see our logo right here. Um, then going back to the homepage, if you see um, at the bottom, these are our official corporate sponsors, and then we also have more contact information at the very bottom of our website. So I'm going to now go back up to the top of the page, and we're going to talk about logging in. 
Um, hopefully each one of you have your ACCE login already, but you, if you do not, let us know. You can either chat that in the window or contact us um, anytime. And you can do that whether you need a, a, your password recall or if you're just not sure if you have an ACCE login. Um, but you will need that login. I'm just going to demonstrate with my own uh, login here. If you have um, forgotten your password, you can actually recall it right there. So we're going to just submit here. And um, so to access many of ACCE's information, resources, and benefits, you will need this login with your username and password. And you can log in anytime with the upper right hand corner login button. And each member of your chamber, each staff person, should have their own username and password. And um, again, you can uh, contact us or use that, that uh, recall login if you do not know it. Um, once you're logged into the website, you can click on My Account here. And sometimes that appears on the website as Menu. Um, and this gives you access to information regarding your ACCE membership. Um, this includes products you've purchased through the ACCE store, such as e-courses and online publications, events you are registered for, information on your membership, and we're going to look at this tab here in more detail in a second. And then you can also access, this is one way to access dynamic chamber benchmarking. There are a couple of other ways. And uh, dynamic chamber benchmarking is where the operations and salary surveys are. And I'll talk more about that in a bit too. And then you can also update your chamber staff if you're an org admin. And we have access to ACCE's membership directory, which you can search to find uh, members in states or cities. And then we also have a wonderful networking tab with more networking counterpart lists. Um, those of you who have organization admin access um, already set up, you can keep your staff roster up to date through that Update My Chambers staff. And each staff person then can have their own login. Um, CEOs are already set up as organization admins already. So if you're not the CEO and someone on your staff would like to be added as an org admin, um, it's nice to have a secondary uh, staff person to help with that. Just let us know and we can um, make that change for you. And um, contacting us, you can, uh, I'll go over more contact options, but you can let us know through the um, information area, which we call um, help. It's also known as Ask ACCE. So once you're back on my account, once you've updated your chamber staff roster, our system automatically sends out a welcome email with that staff person's login information. Um, so we invite you to take a look at some of the options here under menu or my account, but I am going to dive a little bit more into my membership area here. So if you click on my membership, you are going to see a couple of options to update your personal information, which includes your professional interest areas, including ACCE's divisions. Susan will talk more about divisions in a bit too. Um, but this is the area that you can use to make sure your email is right. Um, and then I'll again sign up or change your username and password. Um, and then under this profile area, if you scroll down to your professional interest areas and edit that, this is where you can sign up for any of the divisions or special interest areas here at ACCE. Um, I have them all selected, so that means I'm going to get emails on all of these areas. We don't send out that many emails, um, but it is really nice if you're interested in a particular area to get a targeted email. Um, just click Save here. And again, you can update your um, username and password again under My Membership if you want to do that. So the, the screen will walk you through. Um, I already mentioned one way to reach out to us to contact us under information and help, but there are a couple of other ways. So I just want to make sure you know how to reach out. Um, you can reach our, or find our staff directory under about, and then if you go under about ACCE and click on staff, you'll see a list of our um, staff directory, our titles, our phone numbers, and if you click on our name, that goes to our email address as well. And then in the upper right hand corner of any page on the website, um, you can find, should be able to find Ask ACCE. Um, 
right here, Ask ACCE, and then again under information, um, which we call help right here, same as Ask ACCE. And then just going back to the about section here, I just want to familiarize you with our um, history page. Um, ACCE is over 100, and 100 years old. We were founded in 1914. Um, you can also find our vision and our mission, as well as our inclusion statement, and then our board, board of directors. Um, our about page is also where you can find information on uh, membership, and you can find the um, business directory of ACCE's business members. You can download the ACCE um, member emblem or the logo to show that you are an ACCE member on your own chamber website. You can access the member directory here again. That was also under my account um, as well. Um, you can view ACCE's different affiliates and um, as well as um, options for uh, the all access pass and Horizon Investors Program um, at ACCE. So here's the Horizon Investors information you can click on as well as the all access pass. So um, we will definitely take questions as Susan mentioned. Um, I think we're gonna move on to networks here and I'll turn this back over to Susan. Okay, well, thanks so much, Sarah, uh, and uh, hi again, everyone. I'm going to talk about ways, uh, first, I'm going to talk about ways to network with other ACCE professionals, membership professionals, and others, and then I'm going to review uh, the professional development opportunities we have here at ACCE, and I'm going to touch uh, also on our sales awards program, so let's get started. Um, we will start with the ACCE member directory, which actually Sarah um, mentioned before. Uh, within the member directory, you can search for individual members or chambers, and you can email members through the directory as well. Uh, we have a separate business directory where you'll find our official corporate sponsors, as well as business members and consultants who serve our industry. Uh, additionally, some offer affinity programs designed to generate non-dues revenue, and many exhibit during our annual convention, which will take place in July this year in Des Moines. So that's our member directory. Um, now let's take a look at our networks. Um, we want to extend an invitation to you to join our networks and uh, look forward to connecting you. Our community peer groups um, are specifically designed for CEOs to build peer relationships within groups that are organized by community type and size, as you can see. Um, divisions are open to everyone and are truly your home base. They are organized by job function, as you can see, and they'll help you connect with your closest counterparts. To join a specific division, follow the links shown on each division page to sign up, or you can also sign up through your account under the heading My Membership, and then Update Personal Information, and then Edit Professional Interest Areas, as you saw earlier. So once you join a division, You'll receive e-newsletters specific to that particular division, uh, invitations to webinars, invitations to uh, roundtable conference calls, and, and other special events. Um, we have a wide variety of divisions available, and we welcome you to connect with peers who share common interests with you. And I want to take a closer look now at the Membership Development Division page and division. You can get to this page um, by clicking on Networks, hovering over Divisions, and clicking on Membership Development Division. On this page, you'll see links to our Chamberpedia, or Information Office pages on membership topics. Um, there's links to recorded webinars on membership topics. You can also download copies of selected sales training conference handouts um, from both this year's training and past. And I'll talk a little bit more about the sales training in a minute. Um, you can listen to recorded membership roundtable calls. Uh, let me see. Let's go scroll down a little bit. You can join our active membership sales LinkedIn group through this page. Um, and there's lots of other stuff there. So if you've signed up for the membership development division, you'll get our regular e-newsletters. And I send those out about eight times a year. Um, notices of scheduled webinars, notices of roundtable discussions, um, and more. 
to join the MDD, uh, click on divisions at acce.org uh, or update your profile online to add MDD to your profile by clicking on update your profile status online. Uh, you can also just email me and I will get you signed up. Uh, my email is on various pages, but it's smcguire, S-M-C-G-U-I-R-E at acce.org. I'm on that staff listing and I will get you signed up for the MDD. Actually, I think you all are already signed up, <laughs> but if any of your colleagues or peers are not, are, are, um, are also wanting to get this information, I can sign them up as well. Um, so going back to the MDD page, you can also access information about the Circle of Champions program from this page as well. The Circle of Champions is a subset of the MDD, and it sponsors two recognition programs for chamber sales professionals, our annual sales contest and our lifetime sales achievement award program. So you can find out more information about both by clicking where indicated on the Circle of Champions page. Um, so in our sales contest, um, you compete individually against other membership sales professionals from like-sized chambers, and you're all competing for top annual prizes in um, three different dues income categories uh, for a number of new sales and dollar value of new sales. So it's a yearly annual contest. Um, we are in the fourth quarter of this contest for 2017 to 28, so we're just winding up. Um, that'll end um, on May 31st. And then a fresh new contest year, though, starts on June 1st, 2018, and will run through May 31st, 2019. So I will have information and um, applications for the next contest year on the sales contest page very shortly. Um, the Lifetime Sales Achievement Award, um, that um, is a, an award program in which we recognize your achievements as membership sales professionals throughout your entire career. Um, you can find out more information um, about the program here. Um, and the due date for Lifetime Sales Achievement Award applications is June 1st. And you can click on, right, where, where it says Lifetime Achievement Recognition Form there. Um, fill that out. It does require a CEO signature. Send that in by the deadline um, for that award. Um, the great thing is that award winners for both of these awards are recognized at our annual award ceremony um, in July at our annual convention. So to join the Circle of Champions, joining the Circle of Champions is the prerequisite for participating in either one of these awards. And to join, you'll, you need to click on Enroll Your Sales Team Today and fill out the online form. Um, that form will make its way to me and I will get you signed up. Um, if you have any questions about the Circle of Champions or about any of this uh, MDD, I am the MDD liaison, so um, please don't hesitate to contact me. So now I'm going to move from networking to professional development, very closely related, but um, two sort of different aspects of education and, and uh, um, preparation uh, for your sales career. Um, ACC University Online is the official name of our online education program. Um, it includes online e-courses, recorded convention and other training workshops and webinars. You can access all of these offerings most easily by clicking on professional development at the top of any website page and then on ACC University. Uh, you'll find the e-courses here. Um, click on any of the courses to find a more complete description and purchase them if, if you would like. You can stop and start ACC e-courses at any time and view them as many times as you like. And once they're purchased, you or anyone on your staff can access them. Included in our e-courses are our recorded convention and other training sessions. Convention tracks and individual recorded workshops are available, along with selected sessions from our convention since 2014 including the 2017 National Convention. So you can see there a best of annual convention for 2017, and we also have them organized according to tracks, including a membership track. Um, our e-courses, including our recorded convention workshops and tracks, are offered for a fee that varies according to your membership type. Uh, you'll need your username and password to purchase them. Um, they're offered generally at very good prices. For instance, we have a very popular 60 membership ideas in 60 minutes session 
I ha we have one from 2016 and also from 2017. And 2017, we also have a 60 sponsorship ideas in 60 minute session. And each of these sessions are offered for just $5, and they include written summaries of all of the ideas presented. Um, so also know that if your chamber has purchased an ACCE All Access Pass, the e-courses, including all these recorded convention sessions, are included within that pass, and they're also included within Horizon Investor Benefits. So in these two cases, you or anyone in your chamber can access all of these recordings for no additional fee. So check that out. Um, we also have many free recorded webinars within our ACCE online catalog. The easiest way to access them is to go to the ACC University page, click on webinars, and then just scroll through and click on the icon for any webinar of interest. All recorded webinars are included um, with your membership, so there's no additional fee for you or anyone in your chamber. Webinars are usually about an hour long, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, where presentation materials have been made available to us, we've also posted those right uh, here on the webinar page, and you can download them for free. We've done a number of new webinars over the past several months, uh, including web, uh, webinars on chamber revenue, workforce development, leadership development, chamber accreditation, and many, many more. Uh, one of our most popular recent webinars was on customer care and retention, member retention. That was presented last November by Nikki Anderson of the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, you can access that by clicking on that icon and also her presentation slides. So um, when you have a moment, click through lots and lots of webinars there. Um, they're or organized in reverse cron order, um, so just take a look. Um, we'll also be doing additional live webinars and live membership roundtable calls during the year. To access, all current, to access all currently scheduled webinars, you start again on the, membership, the professional development page, hover over events, and then click on calendar. And you can see, every, yeah, if you click on calendar, you can see both webinars and roundtable calls. So you'll see that we have a couple of membership roundtable calls coming up. Uh, one's actually tomorrow. Um, that is part of a new series we have begun on for new membership professionals, so two years and newer, um, but open to all. Um, so we have that one coming up tomorrow. And then on May 15th, we have our regular quarterly membership roundtable for professionals of all ages. So during those calls, we generally focus um, on offering, well, we focus on offering an opportunity for discussion and brainstorming with your peers. We generally have a theme or starting off point for the discussion, but we keep a, the schedule loose and we um, have plenty of opportunity to share, um, ask questions, share ideas, and build your professional network. So they, um, again, the next sort of um, open to all, all levels, all years, uh, roundtable call is May 15th. You don't pre-register for the calls. You just uh, call the number, uh, jump on the call, and they're also recorded and posted. Um, we also have another ACCE tour. So a version of this tour we're doing for you today, sort of more generally for all folks of all um, job categories in, ch in the chamber world, uh, coming up on May 9th. So um, uh, so take a look there. That one you'll have to register for in advance, just like you registered with this one, but it's absolutely free with your membership. Um, and then, um, again, scroll through the other webinars in the spring. And also, I'm going to be working on the webinar schedule for the fall 2018 season soon, as in like in April and May. So if you have ideas for topics you'd like to see us cover or focus on either for a webinar or for a roundtable call, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd Love to chat with you about that, and I'm always looking for ideas on what will help you all with your careers. Um, ACCE sends out a regular weekly e-blast on Mondays, uh, and that will include links to all upcoming webinars for that week and in the near future. Um, and then also we send out individual e-blasts announcing our webinars. Um, and then in those individual e-blasts, you can click on the registration links to register. Again, no, remember, there's no charge to participate. You do need to pre-register, and to do that, you'll need your ACC membership ID number. 
so um, I'm going to switch briefly to um, in-person trainings, um, just so that you all have those in your, your calendar, your mental calendar. Our biggest in-person training event is our annual convention, and that's held every summer. And our next convention uh, will take place on from July 17th to 20th in Des Moines. We have information on our website now about that on our home page. Um, and just click on that large scrolling tile. Um, you can register now. You can book your hotel room now. You can find out information. I believe beginning next week, we'll have more and more information about sessions. Uh, we will have a complete membership session and a division meeting. Um, and so check back um, over the next few weeks for more information on that. Um, one note about hotel, I believe we have one hotel room night, Thursday the 19th, um, that is sold out for the Hilton Hotel, but um, all of the other hotel room nights and all of the other hotel hotels are open still um, If whenever you um, would like to take a look and if you'd like to register. So that's our convention. Um, note that you can get handouts from our past conventions um, uh, on our website. And to get that, you can click on professional development, hover over annual conventions, and you'll see annual convention resources. Click on any of those dates, uh, 2015, 2016, 2017, and many of the handouts are there. Just, um, you can click and download for free. So um, take a look. Um, oh, looks like we had a little glitch there, but they should be there. There we go. Um, uh, click on the presentation links and they will be there. Um, so besides convention, we have a couple of additional in-person trainings. Um, the big one for sales professionals is our annual sales training conference. We just finished that up about a month ago um, in March in Charleston. Um, we uh, Every year we have, it's very popular. Um, we feature speakers on a variety of sales and membership topics. Um, and we're sure to include um, information for both new membership professionals and more seasoned representatives. So um, we would love to have you join that um, for next year. We'll be working on that end of this year and posting information about our 2019 conference at the beginning of, of the year, of the calendar year 2019. Also, if you happen to be involved in planning chamber events, we have an events training conference in the fall each year for folks involved in planning and leading great Chamber of Commerce events. And we are planning that as we speak for um, the fall of this year, likely October. And we'll have more uh, information on that in the early summer. So to find handouts from both sales training and events training, uh, click on professional development and then scroll down to resources from past ACC conventions and conferences. Um, and they will be there. So you can click on handouts for sales training or events training um, and our in our conventions. And I'd really um, urge you to, when you have a chance, click through. We have so many great presentations. Um, there's also contact information for the folks who presented. So a great way to build your network and um, get information. So um, I'll, I'll move on quickly to awards just to Make sure you have that in your mind. If you want to get information on the awards that are presented at our annual convention, you can click on professional development, hover over awards, and you'll see the major categories of awards that are presented. And as you can see, uh, and then if you click on the award links, you'll find more information about requirements, due dates, contact people, and so on. And you can go directly to the information for both the sales contest and the lifetime sales achievement awards also directly from this page. Um, just one final note um, from me on professional development. As you move forward in your chamber career, please keep the Certified Chamber Executive or CCE program in mind. Uh, the CCE is the only national certification for chamber professionals, and it's available to chamber professionals who have six or more years of senior level management experience and are currently in a senior level position. Um, to find out more about the CCE program, click on Professional Development and then on CCE. And uh, one of the requirements for the CCE is that you've accumulated over the course of your career a certain number of professional development points through education, through networking, through leadership roles, through participation in webinars, through participation in sales training, convention, 
and also um, by participating in programs such as this very sales mentorship program. So you all are earning a five CCE points for participating in this mentorship program. So you're working on your CCE now while you are working on improving your sales and your membership development skills. So if you are interested in the CCE program for now or the future, um, please feel free to click on my name on the CCE page and send me an email, and um, I'd be happy to follow up with you about that. So that's a quick summary of our networking and professional development um, resources. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or suggestions for professional development topics that you'd like to see us offer in the future. So now, Sarah, I am going to turn it back to you. Thanks, Susan. Um, I'm going to now go over to the information section of our website and tell you a little bit more about HERO, Help Expertise Resources Online, this area. And this resource section is here to help your chamber staff save time by not reinventing the wheel. So HERO, the HERO portal, is here to make it easy for all of you. So any staff person at your chamber, regardless of type or size, um, can use this HERO portal to find relevant information to help you do your job more efficiently and effectively. And hopefully, again, not reinventing the wheel. There are a number of resources that make up HERO, and that includes Chamberpedia, which is um, research and resource pages that are organized by topic and include topic pages for membership um, management, strategic planning, lots of case studies, chamber models, best practices, guides, articles, um, and how-tos. Then we also have on the HERO, or the information section here, dynamic chamber benchmarking. And this is where you can um, participate in ACCE's annual surveys and download customized benchmarking reports for you, your chamber specifically. I'll go into these in more detail. And then we also have the samples library, and the samples library is basically a library of working documents from chambers across the country, um, over 4,000 pieces that we've collected over the, la the many last couple of years. And there are pieces in, in here that include member agreements, position descriptions, marketing plans, retention plans, annual reports, and so much more. So I'll be going into that in a little bit more detail as well. And then um, I've already mentioned a couple of times ACCE's um, service called Ask ACCE, also known as HELP. And you can go to the Ask ACCE page to um, get to our virtual reference desk. And it is staffed by a team of two research librarians, myself and Jen Pack. And we are your hero team. And so you can email us, you can call us, you can use the chat um, inside Dynamic Chamber Benchmarking. And there are also some nice frequently asked questions here that we've been adding to and updating very recently. So I'm going to dive into the samples library here. You can always get to it from a couple of different places. Um, from information, click on the menu up here, samples, or just scroll down to that samples library section and click on the red link to get to the uh, samples library database. Again, it's about 4,000 uh, working documents. We are constantly refreshing and updating the samples. Um, so the most recently added samples are listed at the top of the page. If you just land on samples and haven't done the search yet, you'll see all the most recently added samples here. For membership staff, um, <clears throat> I've highlighted just a couple of of resources that you can pull from the samples library. We're going to go down by the sample type. This is just a, a demonstration of one way that you can find some of the different types of samples. You can also do a keyword search here. Um, I like to use the um, browse by the category type because it helps drill you down pretty quickly. Um, so a couple of um, commonly frequently asked questions we get are for membership brochures. You just click brochures and you can see again the most recently added types of brochures which often include membership brochures or anything um, you know dealing with uh, membership areas here that describe uh, member benefits. 
when you see um, on the samples library display list, if you um, can, you'll see a couple of different things. Again, red link, if you click on this, it will take you right into more details on that sample and a way to download the sample. And then off to the right, if um, the sample piece was part of an award, um, ACC award, this one is for Chamber of the Year winner. Um, so this was part of their uh, Chamber of the Year um, application package. And then there are other award winners in here, typically um, Chamber of the Year, as well as awards for communication excellence. And you'll see those logos off to the side. So we'll just demonstrate this first one um, from Paduka on their membership brochure. When we click inside the piece itself, <clears throat> you'll see the information about it, as well as the blurb, we call that the blurb, information, more information about the chamber, and you can link out here. And then this link here will in, go to, directly to that piece, um, in this case, the membership brochure that you can download and adapt or adapt for your own chamber. So that'll take a second, which is kind of nice to see. Lots of great examples in here. So this is just another way that you can benchmark your chamber. Um, it doesn't have to be just in stats, but you can benchmark your chamber in um, you know, marketing pieces and brochures and retention plans. I'm going to just show, show you some of the different retention plans as well. So we're going to scroll down to retention. Um, here is the topic on retention, renewal notices, um, all kinds of things here, recruitment pieces, all kinds of examples from chambers we've collected across the country. Um, so if you scroll down, we'll see some different retention plans. That one, again, was part of a Chamber of the Year winner. Um, we also have membership applications. I'm just going to click on the M here and then get down to here's membership um, application, click go. You'll see all kinds of different membership applications. Same thing with, um, we'll scroll down membership benefits, which typically includes things like brochures or sometimes dues information. We also have collected examples from different ch chambers on dues and say if you have um, looking for different tier, do, tier do examples, just type in tier in the keyword search and you'll find all kinds of different examples that are dealing with tier duty. Um, we also have, I mentioned renewal notices, membership orientation samples. So you're probably getting the idea right now that there's all kinds of samples in here that you can download and adapt for your own chamber. Um, we have welcome letters. Again, I mentioned here's new member information, recruitment, um, just a sampling of some of the different categories that we've collected. Welcome letters right here. Oops, I'll take out the word tier and just click go. And then the other thing about samples library is that you can filter it down. And um, just like you can with dynamic chamber benchmarking, you can apply these filters to see results that are with chambers that are most like yours. Or if you had no filter, then you're seeing the aggregate of um, all the different results. But this is nice because we've got community peer groups. So if you're in a community peer group and you want to see welcome letters from emerging cities, we've collected it that way. Um, <clears throat> we're regularly adding samples and we always welcome yours. So if you've had something that's been a great hit with your members, um, been a great retention or recruitment piece or a really popular um, renewal notice, would love to have that. So feel free to email it to Hero. Again, our Hero email is just under help and it's H-E-R-O at A-C-C-E dot org. Um, I'm going to dive over to Chamberpedia here. And again, you can get to it from the menu under information or just go back to the information page and click Chamberpedia. We have over 150 topical pages. So this is truly like a um, research or resource guide um, of topics. So I'm going to go show you the membership management area here just by clicking on membership. So we have a landing page for membership. We link back to the membership development section. Um, and then we have specific membership topics. I'm gonna just highlight the retention page here. And what we do with um, these Chamberpedia pages is make them like a best of, um, best of compilation. So it's gonna include um, things like research, ACCE's research. If there's a formula or some kind of calculation, we'll include that. For example, standard membership formulas. Um, statistics and research reports, white papers, we've all included on these individual topical pages. In this case, we're looking at things like retention programs and action. And then we link out when there's more information to see. We link that out. 
um, sample plans, strategies, surveys. We link out all of that. So you just click on any of these links and it will take you to more pages. So it's kind of like being in a library, a traditional old library, but this is all digital and you're seeing, you're being driven to more topics and see additional related topics. So um, if you have anything, you know, you're looking for samples, re the Chamberpedia pages are a great starting place. So again, we've collected samples, lots of articles, blog postings, and then also convention um, and webinar and ACCE university resources. So it's kind of like, again, a one-stop shop. And then we've tied in other related Chamberpedia pages that you might want to see. Um, I'll just go back up really quick to the uh, Chamberpedia page in membership develop or membership management and just show you a couple of the other topics. We've had um, a number of questions asked for um, on retention. I think that's probably one of our most popular pages, but we've also been asked for information about big box samples. Um, so that is on our membership sales page. And again, you can get there from membership management and then membership sales right here. Um, we are looking for new examples of how you're recruiting and re retaining big box or large retailer members like Walmart. So if you've had something that's been very successful in recruiting big retailers in your area, would love to have that. You can send it to Susan or to me at hero at acce.org. Very much welcome your examples in that area. Also, we've been asked for um, information on communicating value. So we have a page set up, um, again, under membership management on communicating value. <clears throat> and um, on that communicating value page, we have links to the Shapiro report. And that's a very popular report that came out in 2012 and one before that was 2007. Um, 2012 is the latest one. It's still a popular report with stats and chambers are still using that um, to market their um, uh, value of joining a chamber of commerce. Let's see, sorry, I'm just looking for that. Here it is um, on the communicating value page under reports and publications. Here's the real value of joining a local chamber of commerce. You can also get to um, the Shapiro study by clicking on information and then going to resources, scroll over to reports and papers. And here we have a collection of um, ACCE's publications, white papers that we've collected. And then here again is Shapiro report, the real value of joining a chamber of commerce. Um, before we run out of time, I wanna just show you dynamic chamber benchmarking. Some of you, many of you have already been using dynamic chamber benchmarking. This is login specific, so you will need your ACCE login. Um, so once you've logged into dynamic chamber benchmarking, and you can get to it from the, the information section there, um, you do need to participate. DCB is open 24 seven. There's no deadlines unless you're looking at applying for chamber of the year or membership achievement awards. And those deadlines have both passed. So those are usually early first quarter of the new year. But otherwise, there's no deadline. You can go into DCB, participate, and then download customized reports. So it's a really powerful system. We have a uh, chat that you can use to um, ask us questions and help you download reports and really benchmark. The key to benchmarking is using the filters inside Dynamic Chamber Benchmarking in the reports and charts area. Um, I've downloaded one of our reports, the Membership Statistics Report. I'm just gonna show you that. It's a very um, succinct, powerful report that shows your chamber, starts with the cover page, shows exactly your chamber and who you're comparing to under the filter selected information. And the membership report shows you um, member retention of accounts, and your chamber's standing. I, in my demonstration chamber, I have 80% member retention of accounts, and I'm in the 18th percentile. And the median here is 85th. And what's great about these slides on retention and membership stats is you can really slice and dice these. You don't have to take a whole slide deck and, and submit it to your board. You can use these slides to you know, insert into your own plans, your program of work, your annual reports, um, so it's, these are Microsoft Office products you can download and then ad adopt, um, adjust, edit for your own chamber. So truly customized. Here's a slide on member retention of dollars and shows again my chamber, my percentile. So I would use this really to set goals. Um, you know, evaluate, see where I stand compared to peers. And um, 
dynamic chamber benchmarking goes back many years, 2012 now, back to 2012. So present year is 2017. You can use this to evaluate where you stood in the past and then measure where you're at right now and then set goals for the future. There are also very powerful um, trend reports and I've downloaded one of these already. Um, the trend report goes back to 2012 and again shows some key stats like membership retention um, and my chamber is here in blue and you can track again how you compare to the 25th, 50th and 75th percentile. I regularly give webinars on this and I'm available through the chat as well as an individual uh, web meeting appointment if you have any questions on this. Um, we have uh, webinar recordings available as well as a, a great page on the information section. I'm going to just direct you to that to get started is um, under information and then dynamic chamber benchmarking and then click on working with dynamic chamber benchmarking. On that page, it gives you all the information you need to get started. If you scroll down to the very bottom, some of my favorite things that we've highlighted here are chamber benchmarking in action. We've had convention handouts. This one was a really popular one last year by Kathy Height and uh, Nashville. You can download the slides for that. Uh, we have other chamber examples here. And then you can click here for some of my previously recorded webinars um, on DCB. So feel free to let me know any questions you have on the benchmarking reports, how to do it, how to do it effectively, some best practices, you can always reach out. Um, again, reach out to um, the information team here under help and um, we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. If we experience a high volume, we'll let you know um, where you stand in our queue. There are lots of other resources like the Horizon Initiative and many um, other types of things like quick polls, our bookstore link, and um, again, some publications. That's all under information, and then by clicking on resources, you'll see you can discover other areas, as well as ACCE's uh, magazine. We have the archive, as well as the latest issue, all full text online. So I think with that, we are about really out of time. Um, we wanna thank you so much for your, your time and dedication and um, interest today. Are there any questions? We'd love to have this open up to your questions. Feel free to type in your question in the uh, question panel and Susan and I will answer. So feel free to go ahead and send us your question um, either now in the webinar or anytime we can help you reach out. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, if anyone has questions, please feel free to type them in the box. And uh, while we're waiting to see if there's any questions, so just another reminder that the webinar, this webinar has been recorded. Um, I will send out a recording to you all in today or tomorrow, uh, a link to the recording, and I'll also include that fast facts guide that was a handout. Um, so look for that in the next couple days. And uh, as Sarah said, if you have any questions, uh, this is a lot of information and we do realize that, but if you um, go through the information, you have follow-up questions, please feel free to contact me or Sarah and we'd be happy to follow up with you. Okay, here's a question for you, Sarah. I'll read it. Do I need special permission to access my account or the Dynamic Chamber benchmarking session, sections? My login isn't allowing access to those sections. Hmm. You, let's see, so um, for dynamic chamber benchmarking, your login will, if you're the chamber CEO, you when you log in, you'll see, um, if you're a chamber CEO, you'll log in and see both operations and salary survey section. If you're not the CEO, you will only see the operations survey. Um, you, if you're in the in dynamic chamber benchmarking and if your chamber has not participated yet, and you're seeing a message about you know needing to um, answer more questions. That's that's the only thing I I can think of that might you might be seeing. Um, in dynamic chamber benchmarking, there's a progress report. You do need to have at least 50% or more of the questions answered before you can download reports, um, and that's for each individual year. Um, but I'll I'll um, follow up with this person, the individual who's asking, I'll send you an email from Hero and um, I'll take a look at your 
log in and see what you might be experiencing. So um, you should have, all ACCE members should have access to um, the operation survey section in dynamic chamber benchmarking. And if your chamber participated in the questions, you can download the, that year of reports. Um, so I'll follow up with you, and um, we'll we'll test out your login. And and you shouldn't need special permission to just access the regular my account either, right, Sarah? It should that should. Let's see, uh, my account you, in here, right? If your um, password is already set up, you should be able to just get over to my account, and then the only thing you need that if if you're an org admin, again CEO or a CEO can um, delegate a staff person to be the org admin to help update your chamber staff. Um, <clears throat> if you're not the org admin, you will not see this update my chamber staff. So that's the only thing that's different, but your ACCE login should bring you over to my account and you should be able to access my membership and dynamic chamber benchmarking from here as well as networking, membership directory, et cetera. So only CEO and the org admin would see, um, would have access to that one. That's the only thing that's different. Okay. Hopefully right, that I helps, think... but I'll find, yeah. Go ahead, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Hopefully up. that helps, but I'll follow up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I think that's all the questions we have, and we are, are a little bit past our time. So um, I'll just say thank you again to everyone for joining us, and uh, please don't hesitate to follow up with any questions. Um, Sarah and I are both happy to uh, to answer any questions and to help. Um, so, uh, and again, congratulations to all of you for participating in this program. Hope you found um, you're finding it of benefit. Um, and if you have any questions, suggestions, thoughts on the program itself, the mentorship program, uh, always uh, feel free to give me a call or email. All right. Thank you, everyone. Wishing all of you a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.